what's going on everybody today i got a really cool video uh i came back from a long 16 hour trip it wasn't supposed to be that uh that long but uh thank you all for tuning into my channel by the way this is one of my many porsches but this is probably one of the cheapest modern porsches probably in the country um in recent times anyways um, i picked this entire car up it is very very rough but i didn't buy it to drive it just hear me out I picked this car up for $2,500, running and driving, and mostly complete. This bumper actually didn't come with the car, but I actually had a GT2 Lapis Blue um, bumper, so I threw it on there. It actually didn't have a bumper on it when I got it. You can see that everything doesn't fit right. I, it's missing some stuff. Just hear me out. Um, $2,500, it was in South Carolina. I picked it up yesterday. I rented a U-Haul and a U-Haul trailer and paid $360 to tow it five hours and I have the truck for three days. So I think that was a pretty decent deal. Um, I was gonna drive it back. However, the lights would not stay in. Um, there was no front bumper on it. It's not registered. The front tires are a little worn on the inside. Um, just a couple minor issues here. I, it did overheat. Um, I found out that there actually is a coolant leak, or sorry, water leak, because whoever had it put water in it instead of coolant, but there is leaking water here, and it's sucking in air, so the air is boiling, and it's losing uh, pressure, and it's overheating after you drive it for four or five miles, so I was not about to drive this 300 miles home. Anyways, it's here, $2,500. The reason why is, in February, uh, my girlfriend and I got hit by somebody who had road rage. They chased us down, they followed us everywhere, they ended up ramping into us blowing my radiator my coolant ended up leaking out my car overheated and my motor was toast um, insurance said because it's a mid-engine car that the motor was not covered and that the adjuster said that they could not relate the coolant leaking out of the car and the engine overheating to the IMS failure of my car my car is the yellow one it is still at um, I'm towing it back but it is still at the adjusters place they did already pay me out for it um, I didn't get enough to replace with a motor, but I did. So, um, anyways, the payout was, you know, six grand, seven grand, um, minus my deductible, which was a thousand. So, I picked this car up for twenty five hundred dollars out of my bank account. The next day, um, they paid me through insurance. So, I picked this car up. Um, the motor's got about one hundred and twenty six thousand on it, but the motor is solid. I wanted to drive it a little bit. The motor is good. There's no noises. There's no ticking. There's no leaks. There's no oil leaks. It doesn't even have an exhaust on it. But I drove it. It was pretty strong. It shifted all right. The transmission's great. Um, second gear pops out, but I think it's the shift uh, linkage bushing or the cables being stretched. Um, so anyways, we're gonna take a walk around to this car. It is very rough. Just bear in mind that I didn't buy this car to necessarily um, part out per se. I just wanted to use the engine. So we're gonna, you can see my 911 in there. We're gonna walk around. Now this bumper, like I said, it did not come on the car. Um, but one of the other reasons why I pulled the trigger and bought this is because these wheels right here are two piece, 18 inch, they're very rare. BBS sport design wheels. Now they did use these designs also on 911s as well as GT3s. Um, so it has a full set of those and as well as the Porsche. There's new brakes on this thing if you can't tell. So somebody put new brakes on this recently. These literally have no wear on them at all. Um, has the, uh, the box dress slash 911 brake calipers and brake kit on it. Um, it did have the side marker lights. The headlights are functional, but they're missing the little orange pieces. I don't know what idiot painted this with etching primer, but underneath hood, this hood, you will see that this hood is actually painted um, the, instead of doing this through the car. Uh, bear with me. Um, they decided to paint the factory Porsche hood that is blue. Um, they painted it this, I don't know why they painted it this color. Maybe they wanted to get insurance money. So this car is very rough. Like I said, there's not a lot of stuff on it that's super sellable. Um, I, you know, I know how to sell things, but like this mirror, they painted this mirror. Um, we got a chip here. It looks like it hit a BB or it hit a rock really hard. I mean, the even, I mean, you don't really reuse this over, but this is, this is messed up. The windshield is no good. Um, I mean, it does still have all the plastic trims. It's got a brand new battery in it. Um, it does have the battery cover. It does have the full size spare. It does have a sound system in it. Um, it has an Alpine, a big Alpine four channel amp. We're just gonna kind of go through because I haven't gone through this car. Literally towed it back at midnight last night. Uh, we're gonna see what we got in here. So we have full size spare. Actually looks like it doesn't have any even driven on. 
Uh, that's really cool, even if I use it for wall art. We're gonna kind of go through this and see what we got. We have a bucket of nuts and bolts. Um, so it looks like somebody started taking this stuff apart. Um, I don't even know what's in here. What is this? Somebody had, was about to do, look at this, brand new oil filter. Uh, somebody was about to do an oil change on it. Okay, here's the crank to the jack. I did see the jack in the trunk. These are the OEM, uh, these are the mid-pipe, I think, exhaust flanges. Oh, this right here is the carrier for, so somebody was trying to put this car back together. So this is actually inventory from a uh, junkyard. This is the piece that goes here that uh, supports the front, the, the front bumper. So that's cool. Um, I think these pieces right here go under the headlights. Yeah, somebody bought these from a junkyard to put this car together. These go under the headlights to support the, the headlights into the front bumper. Um, that's pretty cool. It still has this carpeting. I don't really think it's got the other carpeting because I haven't seen it. It does have the bag for the spare tire. I do have the other side marker light right there. Um, like I said, this it has the battery cover right there. So that's pretty much complete there. The shocks are in excellent condition. I will use those. I will keep those for my own. But I mean, like this car is still factory lapis blue and somebody decided to paint this and everything else. So the tires are decent on the front, but they're really good on the back. Um, so it, it got hit here, it looks like, or somebody jacked it up and the jack slipped out. You can see how it's bowed in. So it's got, I don't know, I think those are factory. Those are um, mud flaps or mud guards. Um, it's got the really cool side scoops on it. So we're gonna keep going through. This mirror is still good. I don't think the electronic functions are working. Uh, I'm just trying to see as a standpoint of making my money back. The motor, like I said, for $2,500 is a steal because I was talking to my buddy in Kentucky who owns Porsche Parts Global and he uh, was asking me, he was asking um, $5,500 for a motor with 80,000 miles in it, which is incredible. But I was trying to basically buy a car to make recoup my money and actually make money back. So. The top is still good, it is dirty. I did pressure wash it and it does look like it's got grease or something in it, some dirt in it, but it is filthy. So I'm gonna wash this. This is still a decent top. It looks like some of the stitching might be coming out, but this is it has the rear defrost with the upgraded glass window. Um, spoiler still works, the trunk is garbage. Um, the bumper is still excellent. The right tail light is still good. I know that there's a crack in this one. Somebody tried to super glue it. So whoever owned this car definitely should have not owned a Porsche because they beat the crap out of this thing. So rear 10 inch wheels, uh, aluminum sport design wheels. Does have a couple little, there's a little, uh, it needs to be fixed. So um, the interior is garbage. You'll see that in a minute. This, but it is a Boxster S. It's a 2002. For some reason, I don't know why it's not the facelifted model, which I would have preferred. Um, trunk still has all its carpet. We have the, the jack and the handles up front. I do have the tow hook. Uh, we're gonna kind of go through this actually a little bit. So um, there is no exhaust, but I will show you that in a minute. There's literally just, there's actually, we're actually gonna get under here real quick. I'm kind of going real quick, but if you can see, it has aftermarket, it has aftermarket headers on it. So somebody took the uh, cats off. And uh, so there's that. And then we're gonna go into this. These are second, this is a spare tire bag and the toolkit wrap. Um, this I think was cracked. I think I took this off. I took this off yesterday and replaced it with the one that uh, came with the car. This clip right here is $47 by itself. So the car does have some parts. Um, these are mid, these are secondary cat delete pipes. Um, and they also bolt to those uh, aftermarket headers as well as this. I pulled this aside because I did take a couple pictures of the car. I like to take pictures of cars that I own. This is brand new. So this is a full stainless uh, exhaust system with the secondary pipes, the headers that are already on the car, which is extremely loud. And uh, these are still wrapped in plastic. So this is a full exhaust. I'm hoping there's some bolts or clamps with it. Uh, we have, it definitely got into a front end collision because we have this. This is the middle of a Boxster S uh, front radiator, uh, center radiator intake grill. And all the clips are broken off of it, except for like one. Um, somebody could probably still use it that needs one. Anyways, so uh, what is this? I don't even know what this metal tray is, um, but it's still got the carpet and stuff in it. And uh, the spoiler still works. Trunk, the deck lid's still blue. It still has all the stickers on it. This is definitely the OEM trunk that somebody painted primer. Uh, bear with me, I have a UPS delivery. All right, so as you can see, the interior is garbage. 
um not much not much i mean the floor mats are decent so the doors are in pretty decent shape except for the silver like the uh the silver here the, it's bubbled like the paint that's come off of the aluminum or the the handles here um these obviously are broken the alarm keeps going off so there's not a lot on this car that's cherry um this right here is worn like somebody kept their arm resting on it i mean this so it's supposed to be that silver which is beautiful and it's kind of that uh it is a box dress it does have the electronic front and rear trunk releases without the handles um a rare option that i found out about this car is actually the seats are full leather but they are heated so if there's any way to salvage these possibly just maybe selling the seats and the brackets and whatever and uh maybe somebody can recover these but uh they're definitely not worth saving per se but i would say repurposing i mean you see this bolster is completely gone um doesn't have the porsche headrest uh crest in there oh sweet so i was looking for some goodies in the car yesterday hey who are you interrupted so i actually found what is this porsche approved certified vehicles this is actually in a plastic case now i've never seen this before i did find um in the behind the passenger side seat um i did find uh owner's manual so this is coverages what is this porsche design so this is driver selection this is like their uh what 2005 so this actually came from another car there's no reason why so this one didn't come with the car this one did those are the wheels that i have in my my uh speedster my yellow one those are the stunning wheels those wheels are amazing i love them way more than this so this definitely came with it because those are the wheels that came on 993s and 996s and 8986s this definitely came with it because that is a 2002 turbo as well as a 2000 see that's the car that mine should look like see those are the wheels it has different side grills on it it has a different rear bumper it has clear and red tail lights i don't know i was like somebody just pieced this thing together with parts that didn't go with it because the front bumper is supposed to be different and more aggressive i did have one of those cayenne so this is pretty cool to find stuff like this though in the car because it definitely adds value to what i can you know recoup and recover um it has decent amounts i will clean them they are gray they actually aren't that worn they're just dirty um we have leather actually it's really rare it's leather leather gray leather and black leather da dashboard this vent is pretty decent the steering wheel is a big money maker right here the steering wheel with the silver crest you can see it's actually silver and not gold um this is actually a good one it does have a decently upgraded uh digital readout for the uh um but the couple of the pixels are missing um it doesn't say the mile it looks like it says 200 and it looks like it says 20 something thousand miles so i have no idea if somebody put a gauge cluster or not um but i will replace the screen on that before i sell it um the center console is decent it's uh leather and plastic uh it's hard to maneuver in here with the top up it does have the climate control with a box dress the six-speed shifter that's also worn with a hole in the boot so that's not really that sellable storage compartment somebody did put an aftermarket kenwood bluetooth radio in here um i did see that in here it had some like apple carplay bluetooth kind of hookups and stuff um and it does have the optional uh bump out cup holders which are really cool very very low option car actually never seen a car that this was this low optioned it does have heated seats but um it doesn't have the speakers in the so this goes on top of the engine cover this is the engine cover carpet and that's the engine cover lid right there underneath the convertible top so the, it has a storage compartment in here that literally has no speakers there's typically usually like two speakers in here um and then it has this carpet there's really not much else there's another flat floor mats really nice this seat is also garbage but they are heated um the radio has a remote control um the dashboard is in fairly decent shape except i noticed this and that there's two little marks in it they look like punctures i'll double check that but that dashboard is probably not going to be that great to sell unless somebody wants a small blemish on there that door card is actually in incredible condition um, the window glasses are still great that's my girl's car i was kind of parking it in the shade for a while these like it, the, the car is not great these don't have the notorious uh flip up things that are broken off there's little uh flaps that flip up and these lights turn on the illuminated ones this is a good option but the tops are missing so um the top is the guy's like oh it's a manual top no it's not it actually the motor is not hooked up or it's broken um, you push this, you can literally flip the top down without even uh, engaging the electronic button right here. Um, I did find this behind the passenger seat. I thought this was kind of a cool find. Um, these are pretty much owner's manuals, the fuse diagrams, like some sort of warranty information. It still has the radio code, but the factory radio is missing. 
So that would have been really nice to have a factory radio code, but there's no radio. So whoever took the parts out of this car didn't keep them with the car. <laughs> the OEM muffler, the OEM cats, the OEM radio. Um, I think I just ripped my shirt on that stupid seat. So that's the inside. And then I showed you the rear trunk already. Um, we kind of rushed through it because of UPS. But uh, so, I mean, the motor is what I bought the car for. I can sell the transmission. The suspension's excellent. The suspension ride's beautiful, actually. Uh, the brakes are really good. Uh, I'm going to start taking some pieces off this car. I'll probably start throwing stuff away like this unless somebody wants it for racing. But it looks like it got hit here. There's some like light paint marks and this got broken. So the um, the battery and bulb holder is still sellable, but this light is probably garbage unless somebody wants to track their car or just wants to use it for an off-road build or something. Um, so yeah, I mean, what do you guys think? Overall, I, I think I did okay. Um, 2,500 bucks for a motor, 126,000 miles on it. I'm gonna put the IMS in it uh, before I put it in my car. Um, I'm gonna start pulling pieces off of this thing and see if I can make some money. But uh, like I said, it's it's just it's helpful. I saved two or three, four or five thousand dollars on buying a used motor, especially having it shipped, not having to worry about it on a crate, getting shipped across the country. One of them was in uh, in um, California for four grand. They, it was a hundred thousand miles on it. He wanted four thousand dollars plus uh, five hundred dollars to ship it to Virginia, um, and I think I did pretty well. I paid less than three thousand dollars to buy the car and get it sh and get it trailered from South Carolina. So. Hopefully you guys like this video. I'm just kind of showing you the ins and out of my car. This is my fourth project right now. I have four Porsches right now. Three of them are my personal vehicles that I drive. They all need some sort of work. And then this car is gonna be ripped apart and this will kind of be like a selling, just kind of sell stuff here and there to make some uh, make some money off of the money I just spent on buying this car. So, oh, I just noticed this. There's actually H and, oh, I wonder if there's an aftermarket suspension on this car because it rides really nice so the brakes like the front okay no these are these have lips on them so these rotors are probably no good but look at this there's like h and r those are way bigger than freaking 20 mil spacers those are look like they're one inch spacers and the wheels still don't rub so that's pretty cool um it's just nice to see that there's other parts in this car i'd like to actually see and get into I can't tell yeah i don't know those look like stock shocks and uh springs but anyway somebody did put a little tiny bit of money into the car and then obviously it's garbage now see there's little paint there's little dings this car was salvaged i didn't know that at the time but it was salvaged it looks like somebody tried to mess up every single body part on this car like the rear bumper the tail light like there's dings on the side quarter panel the like the top is all you know blah you know like the door the door is actually decent um, but like, look, they painted the fenders, they painted the hood, the front bumper was missing. Um, and then they got like, what this look at, they, they painted the mirror, the mirror glass is completely gone off of it. I mean, it is uh, definitely, it's a salvage car. I am not rebuilding this. So please do not say that it's a shame that this car cannot see the road again. It is a salvage title car. There is way too much stuff that needs to be done. Like the clamshell does, the clamshell is not even connected or attached. It's just like the, the, I can't, I don't think I can strip that primer off. Like this has to be cleaned. This has to be hooked up. This would have, uh, just so much stuff would be replaced on it and it would still be a salvage car. So this car is the best kind of car to buy as a donor car to fix up another car. And this will be perfect. It's got the, a little bit higher horsepower. I think it's got the 265 motor in it. I don't know why this is a 2002 because it is not facelifted. This is the older design rear and the older design front and interior. It doesn't have a glove box. So I don't know exactly on that but hopefully you guys like the video um i will try and see if i can uh see if i can get these pipes on and maybe see if the the, the guy said that he couldn't attach the pipes on he said they made the pipes wrong but he was a 24 year old kid and he obviously didn't fix the car and he didn't know why it was driving weird so i will try to see if i can somehow get this exhaust to maybe bolt up and then i can sell the entire exhaust as a brand new exhaust besides the headers um, so thank you all for watching again. Hopefully you guys liked the video 2,500 bucks for a Porsche. What do you think? I mean, I saved at least three to four grand just on getting this car with a good motor and the transmission is easily to sell that that steering wheel right there is like three to four hundred bucks at least the wheels um, decent condition thousand fifteen hundred dollars for the wheels. Um, I think I did pretty well guys. Thank you all again and I'll have more videos like this soon.